So I am officially beginning my readathon, 24 hour readathon by Zoe right now. It is not midnight. I'm cheating. It's 10 o'clock. I'm just, you know, it's midnight somewhere. People have already started. I figured we can bend the rules if we want to. We can bend the rules if we want to. I had a really weird eating schedule today. I had breakfast at like 11 and lunch at 4. So I picked up Waffle House to get me through the next couple of hours. I'm hoping I can stay up until like 1 or 2 and then I'm going to go to bed. But I think what I'm going to do is eat my Waffle House and then my options for this readathon i'm hoping to finish warcross which i've started i also want to get to the raven boys which i'm further in than warcross so one of two i am also listening to the audiobook for crooked kingdom and i'm about there not the bookmark where my hand is um the bookmark's just marking the the next the end of the next part but i don't think i'm gonna be able to get to all of that in the 24 hour readathon. I also don't think I'm gonna be able to read for 24 hours without listening to an audiobook. So I'm hoping to make a good way through. And that's actually, I think, what I'm gonna start with since I'm gonna eat and I don't wanna eat and read. So I'm going to listen to Crooked Kingdom and eat my breakfast sandwich at 10 o'clock at night. Okay, I'll update you later. The courts of Kirch and its merchant council signifies the transfer of all property, estates, and legal holdings from Mariah Hendricks to Jan Van Eck to be managed by him until Mariah Hendricks is once... Good morning. I did fall asleep last night. I did. That didn't last long at all. It's 7.30 in the morning and I did read... Let's see up to part four of Crooked Kingdom. So I am probably about halfway now, which is kind of cool. I read up to page 261, so that means I read about 60 pages. So I think I fell asleep after an hour. I'm gonna make some coffee, I'm gonna make some breakfast, and I'm gonna start on Warcross because I meant to be reading this yesterday. Bye. here I'm ready to go I've got my oatmeal I've got my coffee I got my fall candle I got my fall blanket I'm ready to go I'm gonna start with Warcross but I also brought this out into the living room because I feel like I can get through this pretty quickly because I love poetry I love Rupi Kaur so I brought this in case I'm feeling motivated or need the feeling that I'm moving really fast in a book so let's get into it <laughs> It is nine o'clock and I just finished The Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Cower and I loved it. Oh, it was really, really good. I read The Milk and Honey last year whenever it came out and I did enjoy that, but I think I did enjoy this more for different reasons maybe. I don't know, but I loved this. I loved this. I loved this. I think I'm going to take a break because I read this straight through in like an hour and I'm going to hop in the shower and then I might put the audiobook back on so I can like clean up the apartment because like I need to mop and sweep and do some laundry and stuff like that so I will keep you updated but I've got one book down so I'm very excited about that Hatch. but Inej didn't start crossing when Nina gave the first signal so she must have had some delay with the alarm oh it's me I have not showered as you can tell by this mess of a hair but I decided to clean and then shower because I was gonna get dirty cleaning my apartment anyways so yes I've listened to about 
watch a hundred pages total from last night and today of Crooked Kingdom. I'm on page 314 right now. I'm almost done with part four. So that's exciting because part five and six, I think there's only six parts total. Although the last two parts are very thick. It's really good so far. It is, let me show you the time here. It's 10.35. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to watch a, an episode probably of BuzzFeed Unsolved. And then I think I'm going to travel to Panera for lunch. And I'm going to take Not Crooked Kingdom with me. I'm going to take Warcross and Raven Boys and hope that I get to one of them. Wait, wait a second. What are you hang doing? On, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hello! I didn't get like any reading done at Panera because it was so busy. I didn't have my headphones with me and there was a huge group like having this work meeting except they were so unprofessional and it was driving me nuts. So I ate lunch. I have a pumpkin muffin in a to-go bag. I'm going back home. It's gorgeous out. It's not as cold as it was this morning. So I'm gonna eat my muffin, sit on the porch, try and finish reading, and then I've gotta do something about this hair because it's driving me nuts. I gotta take a shower. So oh, I'll keep you updated. I read like two pages of the Raven Boys in there, so really it wasn't anything, but soon. Yeah, it's, to me it's more eerie, but you know, I see things a little different than you. You know what, let's just go in. Watching BuzzFeed Unsolved was the worst decision ever. I told myself I was going to watch one episode. I've watched three and wasted like a whole hour. <sighs> so I'm telling myself that I've got to read Raven Boys or anything for an hour. And then I can watch another episode. I've got the Raven Boys here. I may or may not pick up a graphic novel. Just again to feel like I'm getting more accomplished than I actually am. But yes. Hey guys, so I just finished my second book. This is Witches, the graphic novel by um, somebody Snyder. <sighs> and I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. It was creepy-ish, decent, eh, nothing special. And I'm giving myself a BuzzFeed Unsolved break. And then I'm going to get back into The Raven Boys. Mm. Okay, hello, I am here and I am doing, dropping off some books at the library and I'm feeling a little housebound. So I'm going to take the Crooked Kingdom audiobook and maybe drive around for a little bit with it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow so I shouldn't feel bad about just hanging out at my house all day but... I feel kind of weird just hanging out in my house all day, so, yeah. <laughs> this book. Oh. Kaz is killing me. He's killing me. Just got to chapter... 27 the scene they're about to do the thing <sighs> guys 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 shit just got real I'm on page 450 it is 728 um I'm not sure I think I have let me if I can do this without spoiling myself. 535. So 
So I have less than 100 pages, about 80 pages left. I think I could do that in two and a half hours, but we shall see. Even if I don't finish within the readathon time, I'm going to finish this book tonight because holy hot damn. I don't know why I didn't read this book when it first came out. It was so intimidating because of how long it was and I'm just so happy that I'm getting into it now. It's getting nuts. I got Domino's for dinner. I know I haven't updated you in a while, but I've literally just been reading, um... Cricket Kingdom so that's where I'm at at the moment and I'm just about to start a Nina chapter chapter 34 oh. people were bruised and concussed and while it hurt that one woman's hand had been crushed when she got knocked to the floor during the struck out with her blade slicing open the girl's underpants this time she did not shut her fist but it was loud <laughs> I have finished Crooked Kingdom and it was so good. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5 stars. It was so good. It is only 9 o'clock. I still have an hour left. I think I'm actually just gonna read a short story from the Slasher Girls and Monster Boys because I'm not feeling like this was exhausting so I might not even get to read any more tonight but I will update you later. I am officially done with the Red by Zoe Halloween readathon 24 hours featuring heavily BuzzFeed Unsolved day and I'm so happy that I participated. I read the Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur, which is a book of poetry. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I read Witches, which is a graphic novel, which I gave a 2 out of 5 stars. And I read Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun. I've done this before and I plan on participating in the rest of the 24-hour readathons when I can. They're so much fun. I get a lot of reading done usually during them, so why not participate again? I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!